They are made a puppet. So why Chinese talk about Germans? How you are treating us there? Chinese don't treat us like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to play the full clip, but before I do that, let me give you a summary of the context. The man in the video is called Norbert Lamert, right? He's a former speaker or house speaker of the German Assembly, National Assembly, also called the Bundestag. So he's the former president of the Bundestag. And in this, in this instance, he was sent as an envoy to deliver a message to the Namibian president because German is so concerned that there are more Chinese in that country, in Namibia, than the Germans. Because today there are about 30,000 Germans and there are about more than 120,000 Chinese. And the Germans are concerned. So they sent him to talk the, to the president of Namibia about that concern. There is in, uh, in Namibia, for example, the number of Chinese people living here in the meantime is four times as much as, for example, the German uh, community. And in so far, it's not precisely the same what takes place all over the world. There are differences. And what I'm... Mr. Speaker, yeah. what is your problem with that? Why does it become your problem? <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it's a more European problem than our problem. Yeah. You are so sorry for us. <laughs> I don't see... Chinese will never come and play around here. As Germans not allowed to do that. Which Germans are doing, by the way. You talk about Chinese, we allow Germans to come offer visas here. Red carpet. Our people are harassed in Germany. Even diplomatic passport holders. In Germany. And you come in here, Germans come in here as they want. So why Chinese talk about Germans? How we are treating us there? Chinese don't treat us like that. Diplomatic passport holders. We're coming back from, from Geneva. These people were held up at the airport. Just now, last week, in Germany. We know what we will handle our own country. Don't be sorry for us. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Every time Westerner comes, it's about Chinese. <laughs> what is the problem? Is Namibia everyone not Chinese? Did you tell me, we Namibia and say, Chinese have overtaken Namibia? Mm -hmm. Not in my, on my watch. Mm -hmm. I told Chinese ambassador, yeah, I met your puppet. It was in place everywhere. So please, respect us. That's all I will say. It shows this respect that we are children who are going to be missing. Uh, are by Chinese or so? No. Chinese are coming in infrastructure they were all over Africa. And I saw in America, they are there. Who bailed Americans out from the financial crisis? Chinese money is there. So why... <laughs> Small Namibia, who fought Germans, even Germans were fighting with you. You are tough people. Now Chinese will come and, after our sovereignty, come and decolonize us. You think so? Germans cannot succeed, even those Germans who are here. So please, that every European coming is about Chinese. And Chinese were dealing with them. Then Germans. They come in Germany, then America, France, they bought up France. So Namibia is not bought up yet. So please, as I said, I told Chinese, then we are not going to exchange any the old colonial or imperialism, well, new imperialism. And the president of Namibia answers him and says that, why should you be concerned? This shouldn't be uh, an issue for the European. It should be a concern for the Namibian people. And remember, Namibia has a population of about 2.3 million people. And these Chinese are in Namibia. Most of them are there to mine uranium because China has this long-term goal of having about 300 nuclear reactors. Today, in the last 10 years, they have managed to construct 53 nuclear reactors. And all these high-grade you know, uranium is coming from Namibia. China invested about $2 billion in the Namibian mines, and they have so far paid $4.7 billion US dollars to the Namibian government for that uranium. So now you understand. Other Chinese are there to do uh, construction of infrastructure. So far, China has invested about $4.2 billion US dollars in Namibian infrastructure, you know, the roads, 
the bridges and other infrastructure. In a nutshell, the Chinese are in Namibia to improve it, you know, to construct infrastructure. They are sending their youngest, brightest mind engineers to come and construct that country. While the Germans send pensioners, retired senior people to Namibia as tourists. A lot of Germans in Namibia, those 30,000 we are talking about, are retired, you know, Germans who go to Namibia and buy a farm and keep these wild animals in what they call conservancy. So they come there to only just conserve the Namibian land. They do not want it, you know, exploited for minerals and to improve the country, in other words. So they also come there for history, they, to remember the history, because the Germans colonized the Namibia in 1905. They massacred more than 100,000 Herero and Nama people. You can Google that. So they come to that country to remember that history. So that's why they are concerned. They are concerned that the Chinese are coming to improve the country.